This trailblazing expedition has been thrilling and memorable. Hopefully we've all gained insights about ideals, paranoia, clarity, and dreams from the experiences we've had. One bird longs for the earth and the other longs for the sky. Even if Robin had to stop her brother with her own hands, she won't give up on him. However, facing punishment from the Harmony is inevitable. He will face a trial. As for further details, the family would rather not disclose them. Since the family took up residence in Fanaconi, the Order has been hiding in plain sight under the guise of the Oak family, using the Stellaron's power to strengthen their hold on the Sweet Dream, which eventually resulted in disaster. That's the claim the family makes. Whether they were truly unaware of all this is a delicate matter. Venturine's efforts finally earned the IPC a seat at the table. As a result, a more senior representative arrived in Panacone and initiated negotiations with the family. As far as the Astral Express is concerned, the IPC will make for an invaluable ally during the negotiations to prevent Panacone returning to its former ways. Well, it was somewhat surprising. In that dream, I returned to my home world and reunited with my long-lost friends. And, for some reason, Acheron resurfaced in my mind. When I realized that her conclusion was not preserved in memories, I became aware of the bitter truth. The conclusion of a journey can often be sorrowful. All we can do is to try to make sure it ends on a happy note. It's rare for all passengers to leave the Express together during a trailblazing expedition. But for Panacone, it seems most appropriate. Given the Conductor's presence, there's no need to worry about it. However, it's crucial that we soon return to inform Pom Pom about uh, the Nameless. In my dream, the Express stopped at many places and passengers came and went. However, the five of us were always present, and the journey seemed never-ending. <sighs> Perhaps this could be a deep-seated desire inside me, and uh, upon realizing this, I... Uh, I knew it wasn't real. <sighs> no related records exist in the databank. But I have a theory. The hidden dangers of the Order have always been within the Harmony. And this issue existed within the family from the very beginning. However, now that more powers in the universe are aware of this secret, the situation in the cosmos will become more complicated. Like I said, we'll go and see. Once we've packed everything, we should head to our next destination. Uh, guess what? Something weird just happened when I was on my way over here. Someone gave me a strange gift. So I unwrapped it and found out it was a button with a message on the back. Just press this button and all of Panacone will explode. This sounds terrifying. Of course not. Who would press something like that? By the time I turned around, the person had already vanished, so I handed it over to a nearby hound. I heard there were many similar reports before the Charmony Festival started. Uh, I'm really 
worried about the future of Penicone. Ready to mix or drink? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him since our last meeting at the lounge. Come to think of it, he always did come and go quietly. We used to discuss everything here. But every time he'd leave, I'd realize that I didn't know him at all. Such is the mystery that is Gallagher. I have a hunch. Perhaps he's already fulfilled his wishes and won't be coming back. Before we start, uh, would you like to talk to your friends? We have plenty of time. All right, as you wish. Huh, I think I have an idea about what drink to make. Would you like it bitter or sweet? It's up to you. Choose the flavor that suits you best at this moment. Drowning sweetness. One of the most challenging drinks to make. A slight imbalance in the ingredients can result in an overwhelmingly viscous sweet taste. However, with the right ratios, you get a uniquely sweet drink with a lingering aftertaste. Not a bad choice. Let's start mixing. Words always fall short. If you want to bring closure to past events at this lounge, there's no better way than mixing a drink. Blend all your memories and emotions together and stir them well. Through the filter of time, what remains in the glass is something to savor. Well, it's done. Here's to the nameless resting in peace and to my friend Gallagher. The spirit of freedom will spread far and wide among the stars, and its legacy will be more timeless than a pastoral song. We're not accepted by the outside world, so we've gathered here. And one day, our souls will return to the same place. Cheers. Are you leaving? Well, then take this with you. I've mixed more of this last special drink for you. <sighs> the past shouldn't be forgotten. So I hope it brings back the flavors of Penicone. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure it'll leave a lasting impression. <laughs> if you happen to run into Gallagher, make sure he has a sip too. I know his tastes, and he'll be thrilled. All right, enough with the heavy stuff. You guys have important things to take care of. 
So let's not dwell on things. Whether it's the Astral Express or Pentacony, there's still a long journey ahead. So let's lift our spirits, guys, and embark towards our tomorrows. <sighs> Old Odie is a tricky opponent. I didn't expect him to take the risky step of going public at such a critical moment for Panacone. Indeed. He's definitely bold. It's that kind of boldness that made him the Odi Alfalfa he is today. Still, the outcome is uncertain. Shouting loud doesn't necessarily carry any weight. What about the phone call I asked you to make, Topaz? Ah, they agreed. But it'll take some time before they arrive. Just as it should be. The sweet dew should be served after the bitter poison. <laughs> Looks like we'll be skipping the exchanging apples step this time around. <laughs> now that we're dealing with a greedy merchant, a simple apple wouldn't make a difference. Well, I guess I included myself in that remark too. Now I'm a bit curious, Topaz. Do you think Panacone is a quality asset? Hmm, yes. Despite its recent calamity, Panacone remains a top quality asset within the cosmos. With, uh, good credit, lucrative potential, and, uh, promising prospects. Well, that's obvious. But what I truly wanted to know is... This project is obviously too bland for your taste, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Venturine. But despite that, you trust him. You even entrusted him with a cornerstone. Something as precious as life itself to finish this gamble. Uh, are you not in the same boat, Miss Jade? Without us playing along, your Jade Stone wouldn't have made it across the border so easily, allowing you to see all desires that flow through dreams to gain a bargaining chip in negotiations. And that's why I'm willing to stake my topaz stone to cover for you. <laughs> it's like one big elaborate game of chess. Once that kid sets his mind to something, nothing can stop him. Not even fate. <laughs> well, at least he's still alive. And that's the best outcome. <laughs> Looks like uh, we've strayed off topic, Miss Jade. Should we discuss our next steps? No need. I'll go it alone. Meanwhile, you can go greet our honored guest and wait for my message. Okay. Is that Robin? Huh. She's also here on the Radiant Feltz Bar. <laughs>